John Hart, and welcome back to Mr. America Hart. All right, so look, you've been training your chest, you've been using all the standard exercises, barbell presses, dumbbell presses, incline, flat, you know, cables, dips. You've been using all of the favorite exercises that we always talk about. And if you know me and you've watched my channel enough, you know that I'm a big time basics guy. Uh, even in my, my home gym right here, I'm constantly pushing the barbells, the dumbbells, the free weights, the free movements, and those are good. They're really, really great. Today's session, we're talking about a little bit more specific. I have my anatomy chart here on purpose. I'm going to show you in a moment, but here's the thing. When it comes to certain body parts in a bodybuilding sense, our goal is to fully develop all parts of each body part, right? So when we recognize though that we don't have a natural gift in certain areas, in my particular case, it might seem funny I'm speaking to you about doing a certain chest exercise. I'm not particularly known for having a huge chest, big muscle across my chest, uh, especially in the upper part of my pec. The thing about it though is, is when I would compete over the years, I competed from age 18 to 52, when I would compete, I am blessed with some extra thin skin across my chest. So when I would get in very good shape, the definition, the striations would really, really pop. So when I would hit a shot, man, they would look a lot bigger than they were. But over the years, I had to reach out and start thinking about and training a little bit differently on parts of my pec, especially the upper part, so I could develop it as much as my genetics will allow. So you should be thinking the same way if those barbells and dumbbells are not working for you and getting the job done. So I have a movement today I'm going to show you. It's one of my favorites for this particular purpose. And you'll see on my anatomy chart, I'm going to explain to you uh, exactly what I'm talking about here. And you can come and see the fibers on the chest muscle right here, on the pec. You'll see it's, of course, you've heard other people say it's fan-shaped. The fibers go in a fan-type direction. You have down low, across, and then the rest of them go at an angle from the armpit up, 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 and up. This is the target area. This is what I'm after here, okay? So getting specific, and in particular, once the elbow is moved out at about a 45 degree angle to the side, this being 90 degrees to the side, 45 degrees, if we move the elbow out to here and press up, that fiber, those fibers are going to be aligned perfectly to hit most of that upper pec. Now the problem with the barbells and the dumbbells is that they become a little bit inefficient. Okay, I'm going to throw this off to the side right there and off it goes. The barbells and the dumbbells become a little bit inefficient in the way that gravity goes one way straight up. A barbell or a dumbbell, even if I have correct elbow positioning, the problem becomes I only have resistance, and it's a lot of resistance, from the bottom about halfway up, and then it trails off entirely for the rest of the movement all the way up to the point where my elbow goes straight. So with no resistance near the top, it's a, the inefficiencies of the movement become really obvious in a person who's not so genetically blessed in certain areas, like in my case. So if you're like me and you want to get the most efficient training possible for each body part, but in particular today for that upper pec, I'm going to show you right now. I have my cables already set up behind me right here. We're going to use a cable machine. Most gyms have a free motion machine. That's the big white one or one like the one behind me. This is a maxi cam machine. I've angled the arms down all the way and out at about 45 degrees to my side. I'm also on this incline bench and it's set about 30, 40 degrees up from the ground. So it's a low enough angle that I'm going to hit my upper pec perfectly. And the angle of the arms is perfect as well because when I come up with the cables, and I'll show you at the end because I'm going to hold the last rep, the angle is going to involve creating more resistance as I get near the top, not just at the bottom. It's going to actually increase as I get near the top. Completing a full rep becomes difficult. There's a lot of resistance near the top of this movement. So it's going to more efficiently fire 
more chest fibers. So here we go. Check this out. <clears throat> so I grab both handles. I lay back with them nice and tight into my side. And as you know from my other movements and my other videos, I stick my shoulders down and back, creating a little arch to my lower back. My chest is held high. The handles are held out as if I'm holding dumbbells. From this position, deep breath in, boom, I come up with it. And the contraction from here to here gets harder, actually. And then it's chest out, two, three, and I come down slowly, exploding on the way up. And I'm going to do one more, and I'm going to hold it at the top right here for you, so you can see from the front now the angle of the cables. And you'll see right here, they're pulling my arms apart. Literally, if I wanted to cross my arm over even, wow, it's all upper pec right here. So, chest up, and the resistance is huge. As I come down, it's still huge, it's still huge, and then sort of opposite to the free weight, that bottom position is actually, it's actually the easiest part. It actually drops off near the bottom. So this movement in particular, incline cable bench presses. Incline cable bench presses. Really, really, I mean, just doing what I just did right there, I feel my upper pec firing hard, filling up with blood a little bit right now. And you'll see, take it into your next workout, take it the next time you step in the gym, set up your machine properly, just like I had it today. And I believe you're gonna get possibly one of the best upper pec workouts that you've had in your entire life. Again, from somebody who's had to work for it and figure out the little things. And I also do that for my clients as well. So that's it for today. From my heart to you, before you leave, three things. <laughs> your comments on the movement. Your comments. Hit it down below. Love reading your comments. And you know I respond to most of them as well. Number two, off to your right, you have that subscribe button, that red subscribe button, or that circle floating around my head right there. If you don't mind giving that a tap, that'd be great. And the most important of the three, off to your left. You got a thumbs up over there. It really helps the channel out and really bumps it up in the algorithm with YouTube. I appreciate that as well. It enables me to keep on doing these great videos. I appreciate it and thank you very much.